Hey, my baby dolls. Welcome back to another vlog. So today, as you guys can see, I am cleaning my house. <laughs> and um, I started with the kitchen, the areas that was needed the most. And I decided, why not vlog this? Why not film this? You guys can just watch while I clean my apartment. And this is so, like, therapeutic to me. Cleaning is therapeutic. Cooking is therapeutic. All of it really relaxes me. And then, as you guys can see, I had kept this fortune from a fortune cookie. It was a message. It said, trust others, but not blindly. And I thought that was really a great message. And it resonated with me at that time and I kept it and I want you guys to know trust others but not blindly okay um, I'm using my Clorox bleaching spray I use this down y'all like if you don't use bleach on your on your dishes I don't know to tell you but I have to use some bleach and I also use Everspring dishwashing liquid I also use the Dawn too as well I just love to use any extras that I know that's going to help disinfect I'm also using my dishwasher um, just to dry my dishes. A lot of people use their dishwasher to clean their dishes, but I really don't use my dishwasher very often. The only time I use it is to only dry my dishes. I like using my hands to clean my dishes. I really feel like if I'm doing it, it's really getting clean. I feel like the dishwasher really don't do the job. A lot of people say, of course, wash them or rinse them in the sink and then put them in the throw them in the dishwasher to of course you know um clean but i'm old-fashioned i like to do things my way i don't know if that's weird for some maybe it may be but um i just like to do things on my hand i just just to know that i cleaned it and i know that it's clean clean you know it's just a thing for me One of my pet peeves in kitchens is seeing dirty stoves. Like, please clean your stoves. Take off the toppers and get to shrubbing that stove, okay? Especially if you clean. I mean, if you cook often, which is me, I cook often. I use my stove and I always have to make sure that I'm cleaning the crumbs and everything that could leave behind, that I can leave behind. So, and I, when I see a dirty stove, it really bothers me and it really irks me. Like, it makes my skin itch and crawl. Like, please clean your stoves, y'all. Please. And another thing, please clean your microwaves. Like, <laughs> I can't stress that enough. I hate a dirty microwave. Like, I just hurt, hate dirty things, period, okay? I just love clean environments. It helps me think better. When things are not clean around me, I can't think and I just... I can't process things the way that I need to. I bought this toaster from Target. It's, it is a Target brand. And I'm like, this is cute. It's a little cute toaster. I didn't need to spend an arm and a leg just for a toaster. To me, toast is toast. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna get this. I believe it was on sale too for like $15. And it's actually cute. You know, it's simple. And it's cute. Nothing too crazy. It's just a toaster. I ain't, I ain't need to spend too much because like I said toast is toast so I end up taking it out the box and placing it on the counter um because yeah yeah I needed me to, I needed a toaster baby I need to fix me some toast and I cleaned the area off y'all y'all gonna see me wiping down a few times I have to wipe down everything I end up going um in this corner to grab all the medication <laughs> that I had took when I was sick I had Musinex, Robitussin, my cough syrup, and I also had these drinks right here, which is good. I talked about it in my vlog, and this air freshener, which is good, got from Target, okay? So I ran up on some extra silverware that was in my drawer. I'm like, let me just take these little extra forks and spoons and everything out child it was just in this box and i'm like i'm being so lazy let me just take this out ends up you know bleaching it down cleaning it and putting it away for use okay child because i was being so lazy i had it in the box in the drawer for a minute now since i moved child something different you must be made for me patience is nothing and now and now 
Also, I do want to add on this little thing I got on. I know I look like I'm walking around like somebody, mama or grandma with kids. Okay. But it'd be so comfortable. And this is the reality. I'm not trying to look cute cleaning up my house. If you got a puppy with a pee pad, you know those little pee pads got to go. Okay. And I put down her new one after I was done sweeping and mopping my floor. Y'all, I did take a little minute coming back from throwing this away and let me tell you I'm glad I filmed this because I can see what she does when I do leave the house and it makes me wonder like do my baby actually do this when I leave leave the house like do she wait by the door until I come back when I go out because all I did was go take the trash out and it did take me a little minute to come back. Y'all, my hallway is long as fuck. It took me a minute to get to the trash chute <laughs> and come back. And she really stayed right here by the door until I got back. And it made me sad a little bit. It made me think like, oh my gosh, does my baby really does this when I leave out and go out? It just really has me thinking. And then when I come back home, y'all, she do be in her bed. <laughs> She do be in her bed, so I don't think she stands by the, that, by the door the entire time. But I think she does do this for a minute to see if, or if I'm going to come back, you know? She's so sweet. get into this hot mess i got my jewelry drawers on my table with makeup i got hats wigs clothes just piled up on top of this chair gotta do my bed it's just a lot going on so let's clean this off okay just so let's just do that <laughs> Also, a lot of you guys were asking me um, where I get my mattress from because I did unbox my mattress in one of my vlogs, which was like one of the funniest vlogs because like, I got hit with the fucking mattress trying to unbox it. If you know, you know. But um, I'm working on making an Amazon storefront so you guys can see all my purchases I get from Amazon. Um, I got my bed from Amazon, this mattress from Amazon, the best mattress, y'all. So soft. I'm so glad I purchased it. And I actually like it. Um, so yes, a lot of the stuff I got from Amazon. For my little makeup area right here, y'all. Um, a lot of the stuff on the table, the makeup, I didn't really put a lot of the makeup up because after I was done cleaning my home, I did end up doing my face because I went out this day. Um, so I ended up doing my makeup and I felt like I didn't need to put too much of my makeup up because like I'm about to do it. And that's the thing about your makeup. Makeup can be so messy. I did clean up like the, the like the old, you know, napkins, paper towels or whatever like that. But the thing about makeup, when you know you're about to do your makeup, it's like, what's the point of putting all the makeup up because you're about to do it? That'd be the only thing. Because I'd be wanting to clean up my makeup, but I know, like, I'm about to do my makeup. So, 
there's no point of putting all my makeup up, child. And I ends up taking everything off this damn chair because, you know, we could all get lazy and we wear things and we just put things in the chair or any area. You, you Everybody got an area in their room where, you know, you just throw things. <laughs> so I'm glad I put everything up. And now it's time for laundry. Y'all got this cute laundry bin from Amazon. It's like a nice little boohoo, boho, I'm sorry, boho type of aesthetic. And that's what I've been going for lately. Everything that looks very simple, very simplistic looking and all neutral tones. <laughs> end up making me some lunch some quick lunch um if you don't have this bread you missing out girl this is the only bread i use now for my sandwiches toast anything anything i got my lettuce my shredded lettuce my cheese and i have my uh mustard and mayo i'm making a fish sandwich now if y'all don't like these little fish fillet you know these little fish fillet things y'all missing out okay let me show you what i do I use my mayo, as y'all saw. I use a little bit of mustard, and a little. I use a little bit of cheese, and I stand on there so it can melt down a little bit once I get out the oven. And then a little bit of my shredded lettuce, okay. And that's it. And y'all, this sandwich is fire. Like, if y'all don't know about the little frozen fish fillets, you miss it out. All you need is your little chips, a little sprite on the side. Smash that little sandwich down, you know, and you good to go. Like, you can make your own little fish fillet at home. <laughs> hey, my baby dolls. So, um, this vlog was just consist of cleaning. And if, hold on, I'm, I'm going to have to stop this washer and dryer because it's going. Hold on. Whew, I feel like, yo, y'all was not going to be able to hear me. Um, but I'm basically still doing some laundry. Sound like somebody's beating the wall next door. Um, but I basically still doing some laundry. It's just been like wash days, cleaning days, organizing. Um, I feel like when I organize, when I clean up, I can think better. Um, when my house is messy, well, my house is normally not messy or dirty, but when things are not in this place, you can say, or like just things need to just be cleaned up a little bit. Um, I feel like I can think better, y'all. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm already an overthinker. I'm already overanalyzing. I'm already dealing with my inner thoughts. So it's just like when my house is organized, my house is clean, that makes me feel a little bit more better. You know what I'm saying? So as y'all can see, I did put a wig back on. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of basically back and forth with my short hair and then wigs. And I feel like that's... The luxury of wearing wigs when you can like take it off, you can do your real hair, put it back on. Like the versatility of it all is, you know, it's fun. And that's what I've been doing lately, y'all. So if you see me with a wig on, just know I hope like I low key want to have my short hair right now, but it is a lot of maintenance. Like I feel like hair wigs are maintenance too. But that short hair, y'all, like Every time I curl it, I don't get it the same way. And that's the thing with, with short hair. Um, like, I may can get it right today, and then tomorrow it can look completely different from the other day. Like, me styling my hair every time, it looks different every time. I don't get it the same way every time. And that'd be the thing. I'd be so annoyed because the days I really get it right is the days I really don't be going nowhere. <laughs> And then when I go somewhere, I'd be like, damn, I wish my hair looked like how it did yesterday. Like, ugh. So, um, and it takes time. I did not feel like doing it. So I just threw on this wig and called it a day. Today is Sunday, so I'm chilling. I'm going through my emails today. I'm about to upload this video. And that's 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 been my been my day. And um like I was saying in the last video, I've been trying to like get up content, trying every day or elite at least every other day this month, just in general. So 
just showing you guys my daily life and what I, what I be doing and stuff like that. So if you found this video interesting, if you did really like it and you enjoyed it, I would love to know y'all thoughts on it because I feel like cleaning up is so therapeutic. Even watching people clean up is therapeutic. Also update on my hair. Now I know, I know a lot of you guys want me to show you guys how I style my hair. I got that video coming this month. Please don't worry about that. I got y'all. Like, I'm going to show y'all how I curl my hair. Please bear with me. I got y'all. <laughs> I got you. Um, today, for the rest of the day, like I said, it's Sunday. I'm probably going to go to the movies with my boo. So, we're probably going to go to the movies today. Some movie called Cocaine Bear or something like that. Cocaine Bear. I have to look at the uh, reviews, the previews. Like, you know, like the previews of the movie because I never saw the previews of it. But maybe we'll do that today. And, and just relax y'all so this month maybe i'll do like a like something different i never done before like a get ready with me to my id appointment or something like that <laughs> i don't know like a my whole bag you know like doing my whole bag i don't know maybe would y'all like that i never done content like that before which i think is will be so funny and interesting for me and for y'all because y'all know like i've been in a relationship half of the whole time I've been on YouTube so just to see me in this element in the single element and just like dating and like making a whole bag y'all show me <laughs> I'm sure y'all me making my whole bag that would be so fucking funny so maybe we'll do that because I have so many different content to like I want to post but like the person I'm dating like I don't know. I'm being, I'm being very cautious of what I put out. I'm being very cautious of what I show. So that's another thing. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll see y'all. We'll see. We'll see. I think it will be hilarious. Just for content purposes. Nothing serious. Like it's not that deep. Not too much. Not too much. I'm about to get my nails done this week. So we'll, we'll be doing another nail day. Cause, or maintenance day or whatever you want to call it. Cause baby, two of my nails fell off. Yesterday when I was in the kitchen cooking at my boo place, my nail fell off. So, it's time to get these done again. Let me know if y'all have, well, I'm not paying for my nail. So, my boo gonna tell me what color she wants me to have. So, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask y'all like, what color should I do? But, y'all know how that goes. Anyway, I'll see you baby dolls in my next video. I'm about to upload this. I love y'all so much. And I'm really thinking about... I'm really thinking about what I want to do for the day as far as content. And I think I have an idea. Hopefully, I don't know, y'all. No, we gonna see how the vibes is. But I love y'all so freaking much. And I'll see you baby dolls in my next one. Bye.